hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to do like a chit chat get ready with me and if you guys are interested just keep on watching so i already did my eyebrows off camera and the next step is to um color correct around my mouth because i have hyperpigmentation and i'm using the pro concealer um from la girl it's in the color red or orange i don't know and I'm just gonna put it around my mouth like that. Not a lot because if a lot, if I put a lot, it's gonna peek through my foundation. And then around my lips, it's gonna be like orange, and we don't want that. Oh shoot! I did not put some freaking. Ugh, I didn't prime frig man Whatever, I'm just gonna take the elf hydrating um face primer and just put it on my nose because I have a lot of um I have a lot of pimples or is it white face? Honestly, I don't know white face oh, freaking uh white heads I literally just woke up so like I really don't want this to be boring. I'm just filming this because um, I want to do a mukbang, right? Mukbang? Mukbang. I want to do a mukbang. And I don't want to look ugly. Not even ugly. I just want to be put together so it looks good while I'm filming it, you know? Plus, I want to try out these new products that I got yesterday. And it's only just like two, but like, I still want to try it out. I'm then gonna take my NARS. Y'all, I've had this foundation for like three years. I know foundations only last like a year, maybe six months. But do I care? No. I'm just gonna put it on, I guess. It's almost over and I'm so excited for it to be over so I can try out new foundations. But I'm most likely gonna still get NARS because NARS is really good. I was gonna film the mukbang um yesterday because I got Pizza Hut and I was like, shoot, maybe I should film a mukbang, right? But yesterday I was so freaking pissed. Oh my freaking gosh. I was so mad because um school is coming back right unfortunately and i went school shopping for like clothes and whatever and apparently companies in their minds they're like fat people don't wear clothes fat people don't shop so let's not make clothes for them and i'm here like i as a fat person like to wear clothes like to be stylish you know and it's just like, where are my clothes? They usually have those dingy, small list, small space, plus size section. It's like in the back of the store. And it's like, don't worry, we're all inclusive. Go in the back. It's very like kind of dark. It won't be hard to miss. And you're going to find your sizes there. Don't worry. We love inclusivity. All size matter. <laughs> And then you go there, and it's like size 8 to 11. What? Do I, huh, what? First of all, plus sizes don't start until size 16. What do you mean? What do you mean? And it's just like, fat people need to wear clothes too. Fat people want to be stylish. What do you mean? It literally pisses me off. Like, this is why I freaking hate shopping so much. Because, like, oh, we do have plus sizes, but you have to do 35 steps in order for you to get your sizes. You know, you have to go online. You have to look. You have to keep looking. Watch other reviews and see if the sizes are actually the same sizes that you're looking for. You have to wait for shipping. You will have to try it on. If it doesn't work, return. And it's like, skinny people don't go through this. Skinny people have like 55 shade, 55 freaking 
different sizes 55 options right when they step into through that door they're like oh that's so cute i can wear that and of course they can freaking wear that because it freaking fits them and it's just like huh <sighs> freaking oh i was so mad yesterday i couldn't even freaking film like i went to how many stores three different stores i couldn't find any clothes I literally, they were either too big or too tight or they were ugly. Like, I, oh, oh my gosh, I freaking hate that. And I'm not going to freaking shop on Fashion Nova because Fashion Nova, I'm, I don't do really revealing clothes like that, you know? Plus, I'm all the way in Canada, sis. My mom does not trust shopping on websites. That's why I can't even shop on websites. Because, like, you can get scammed so easily. And, ugh. It's just, like, fat people. Y'all can be stylish. Y'all can wear clothes. It's just, period, I guess. I'm then going in with my um, freaking Maybelline concealer and shade. 30 cafe and i'm just gonna highlight my highlighting points highlighting points y'all did y'all see the whole drama with um patrick star manny and way um and that chelsea right or something i don't know her last name but like there was drama and stuff like she should be 100 percent credit cred credited but it's like, why was Jackie Ina in it? For what reason? What was the purpose? Jackie Ina does not advocate for... I mean, she does. But she's not going to go on every single drama thing that involves a black person and stick up for them. It's just, like, not how it works. She did not sign up for this. Like, it's always, like, black women always have to, like, fight for everybody. And it's just, like... No, no, it's not how it works. Come on. And then she talked about how she always gets tagged in all these drama shades, like um, not having enough shades of foundation and stuff like that. And it's like white people or like people of color like that are tagging her. And it's like, you have a voice. You have privilege. Why don't you say something? Like she's not the freaking, she's, she doesn't, I don't know, what is it called? She's not the freaking, I, I can't even think of it, but she's not the damn superhero that saves everybody. Like, she's not. Like, y'all really threw so much hate at her that she even deactivated her Twitter. And it's like, what? For what reason? For what reason is it for? And it's like, I don't know if Chelsea, like, says something to be like, y'all stop hating on her. But, like, everybody always tries to find something to hate on. Like, especially Jackie. And it's like, y'all out there supporting Jeffree Star while he's, like, a racist. Does all these scandals. But as soon as Jackie says something, she's hashtag, hashtag canceled. And it's like, what? And this is how privilege works. Like, oh my freaking... I'm then gonna, um... I'm then gonna set it with my Airspun Loose Powder. And, yeah. Remember how everybody used to hype this up? I literally bought it because of the hype. And then I bought the Laura Mercier. I really like the Laura Mercier because it doesn't give flashback. And it was really good. And then I started using this because mine finished. And... It's not bad unless if you like add a lot, then you're gonna look really white if you're not white. And yeah, and I don't bake, I hate baking. Like, my skin is hella dry, so if I bake, I'm gonna look like I'm ashy as hell. So I just set where I put concealer, set where I need to set. Y'all, freaking school starts in six days six days yeah six days no does it thursday friday saturday sunday monday five days oh school starts in five days for me and oh lord oh lord 
I am not ready. I do not want to see. Oh, I'm going to talk about it in my school get ready with me. So be on the lookout. So make sure you subscribe. <laughs> I'm just playing. Oh, that's a little too much. But I'm going to do a get ready with me. Talk about my school a little bit more. So, yeah. So, I did some wing liner with my NYX, um, NYX eye, matte liquid eyeliner in the shade black and different shapes, but they kind of match. Like, this one's trash, this one's good. We know that this eye is always better, so let's keep pushing. Um, I'm going to use these lashes by Ardell they're in the shade they're in the name glamour and I just bought these they look cute they look cute they give me that mm, that vroom so I'm gonna come back with them on and we're gonna see how they look like I don't know how I feel about these lashes like does it look fake? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like it looks fake. It looks like it's plastic. I mean, it is, but like, it looks extra fake than my normal lashes. I don't know, man. Plus, I even added some mascara to like blend it in. But like, it looks so fake. I don't know, maybe I just need to wear um, a lot more for it to like be broken into. I'm then gonna take my um, MAC, Fix Pro MAC Fix Plus and I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna take my highlighter by Becca in the shade Topaz, as y'all know. This ish is literally gone. It is broken. It's shattered. So we're just using crumbs at this point. And barely anything. And we're just going to put it on. Don't y'all love that feeling where like you use like freshly brushed, freshly washed blush brushes? I can't speak. Like it feels so good. It's like, ugh. There isn't any other product on it. It feels so clean. What do y'all think? I feel like this highlight is a bit too dark for me. But I made it work. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to get like those artist couture loose um highlighters. But baby, those downs are like $28. As y'all know, I'm broke. <laughs> so, ugh, we gonna see. I don't know why this camera always makes me look like I'm washed out. I'm not. I'm freaking not. Okay, so everything is almost done. I just need to do lips. And I don't know if this brand is problematic. Don't come for me. But it's um from Lime Crime. I got it from Winners. It was like thirteen dollars, and it's usually like what it says. It's usually freak man. What is it usually? Twenty six bucks. So I think that's a steal. I mean, some people may have opened it, but it's still a steal. I think only one person opened it, and I'm pretty sure it was me. Um. Yeah, it just looks like this. It's in the shade Wicked. And when you saw, when you see this, it looks like a brown, right? But when I put it on, it's like a deep red. And I was surprised. But I kind of like it. It makes me feel like an e-girl or like, like, what's it called? What are those? Freaking. Those girls that wear leather jackets, they think they're like badasses and stuff. That's what it makes me feel like. I'm gonna take off this chapstick and then we're gonna apply it. I don't know how to apply lipstick, so if I do it wrong, don't come for me. This is my second time applying it, so 
Can y'all actually tell me what the tea is on Lime Crime? I don't know what happened. I'm pretty sure they went out of business. And a lot of people on my timeline have beef with them, but I, I don't know why. And it smells, it smells really good. It smells like candy. Black women shouldn't wear red lipstick on them because it's just not good. It doesn't look good on them. Let me know who said that. <laughs> I feel so weird. I feel like I belong on Tumblr or something. Oh my goodness. If I changed my clothes and I look the part, I would low-key fit in. High-key fit in. Shoot, I feel like a bad beat. Mm. Look at this. <laughs> okay, the bottom, my bottom lip is always bigger anyway. But, like, it looks really good. But the top... Hopefully, I'll get better at this lipstick thing. I feel like a true black girl for some reason. Like, my lips look big on camera. I don't know. Like, in real, in, on camera, it looks really big. I feel like a black girl. <laughs> but, yeah. This is, um... Okay, so this is the end result. I am done with my makeup. I did everything. And I look cute. I look cute. Um, yeah. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you be on the lookout for that mukbang. I might have posted this before or after. But just check my YouTube and you're going to see it. Be on the lookout. I think it's an interesting topic. So if you guys enjoyed my video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you were interested. Comment down below like anything nice, honestly. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Again, I'm trying to reach 300 subscribers by the end of August. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time, hopefully. Bye.